Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we have this interesting radical problem. Here we have square root of 203 minus 20 root of 6. So we are going to simplify this without using calculator. So without wasting time, let's just get started. So in order to simplify this problem, let's concentrate on this 20 root of 6. So 20 root of 6 can be rewritten as 20 times root of 6. And 20 here is 2 times 10. While root of 6 here is root of 2 times root of 3. So if we combine this, we are going to have 2 into 10 root of 2 root of 3. This becomes the equivalent of 20 root of 6. Now that we are done with this particular part, let's concentrate on this part. So we are going to use this part of the board. So we have 203 is equivalent to 200 plus 3. You know, 200 plus 3 will give you 203. So we can play around with this 200. So 200 is equals to 2 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100 and 100 times 2 is 200. So we have plus 3. So right now, 2 can be written as root of 2 times root of 2, which is equals to root of 2 squared. If you square root of 2, you are going to have 2. And here we have 10 times 10. So we have 10 times 10 equals to 10 squared. This whole expression can be rewritten as 10 squared times root of 2 squared. So we now have plus 3. So if you consider this 3, we can rewrite this as root of 3 squared. So this now becomes 10 squared times root of 2 squared plus root of 3 squared. This is equals to 203. So if we rewrite all this, we are going to have 10 root of 2 all squared, you know, you have 10 squared times root of 2 squared, so we can combine 10 root of 2 all squared plus root of 3 squared, which is equals to 203. So this will now replace 203, and 20 root of 6 will now be replaced with this. So right now, I have written down the equivalent of 203, which is 10 root of 2 squared plus root of 3 squared down here and have written also the equivalent of 20 root of 6 which is 2 times 10 root of 2 times 10 root of 3. So we are going to insert this wherever we have these particular values here in this square root. So we have square root of instead of 203 we are going to write 10 root of 2 squared plus root of 3 squared minus here we have 20 root of 6 and we are going to write 2 into 10 root of 2 times root of 3 so this is what we have now if you look at what we have inside the square root it corresponds with a squared plus b squared minus 2ab where a equals to 10 root of 2 and b equals to root of 3. Now this a squared plus b squared minus 2ab equals to a minus b all squared. So if you expand this you are going to get this and this corresponds to what we have inside the square root. So we are going to 
we write this in this form. So since this corresponds to this and this is equivalent to this, wherever we have A, we are going to insert 10 root of 2 and wherever we have B, we are going to insert root of 3. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have my square root. Then I have A, which I'm going to write 10 root of 2. Then we have minus, I have B, and I'm going to write root of 3 or squared. Then if you notice, the square root here will cancel the squared here. So we have 10 root of 2 minus root of 3. This becomes the final answer. And at this point, we have come to the end of the class. I believe you have enjoyed every process. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification icon for updates on my videos. Thank you and goodbye.